Social Podcast. As the remnant moisture from Tropical Storm Fred moves up the Appalachians, we are joined by Eric Kirchner in Cumberland, Maryland. You may remember Eric who reported on the several winter storms that we had <laughs> over the last winter. So thank you for joining us from Cumberland. And what have you seen so far from this tropical system? Uh, we've seen uh, several bursts of rainfall here in Cumberland over the morning. Uh, so far today, uh, my, my uh, weather station at my house in Westside, Cumberland, Maryland, reported uh, 2.4 inches of rainfall. Uh, this was uh, through several bursts. And occasionally in some of the stronger bands, uh, we've also seen some uh, gusty winds. Uh, right here at the Green Street underpass in Westside, Cumberland, uh, there was some uh, brief flash flooding that closed the underpass. This is a typical uh, flash flood prone area due to poor drainage and uh, able to get some video of it and they were able to get it uh, fixed and get the drainage moving and it was able to go down pretty quickly. Wow, so you registered 2.4 inches of rain from this particular event? That is pretty yes. amazing. And Western Maryland has seen a deficit of rain this summer. So that rain, although coming at all at once, created that flash flooding, is needed. I'm sure you have seen the grass go from charred brown to green over the last week. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Uh, we were very abnormally dry. I think even parts of Western Maryland was under the uh, one, level one drought status. And uh, slowly on Monday, we had a, some rain. Uh, and then uh, yesterday, we had some rain, kind of with the tropical moisture. And then today, kind of solidifying uh, kind of a change of pattern back to what we normally are. And uh, definitely, you're going to start seeing the grass and the trees begin to perk up a bit now that we actually have rainfall. Yeah, one, one thing is that when you have a deficit of rain that continues through the summer into the early fall, it can put stress on the trees and impede the fall colors. So I don't think that the drought in Western Maryland got that severe. So hopefully the trees will, uh, when they do change color here in several more weeks, will have a bit of color. I don't think that the drought really hindered the uh, soil that far down. Now I am in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and we've had some intervals of showers and some cloudy skies, some peaks of sunshine. Of course, Ga Gaithersburg is uh, far east of Cumberland and we are in this warm, moist axis. You can see on the satellite image, there's a couple of cloud breaks to my west in Montgomery County. And there is a potential for one or two of these storms that move up the 270 corridor and I-95 corridor to produce a tornado or two. So that's typical on the east side of a low pressure center that was in this case, formerly known as a tropical storm Fred. Now where Eric is in Western Maryland, there's still a bit of cloud cover and there's still the potential for some rain. Eric has had 2.4 inches of rain. You can see there's still lots of cloud cover uh, where you are, Eric. And um, we are going to see the potential for a couple of more showers out in uh, Western Maryland going forward for the afternoon. And you were out earlier and saw the downpours and I'm sure the humidity is just sky high there with the dew points near 70 degrees in Cumberland. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we did have uh, some uh, pretty strong bands of tropical downpours. That's how we got our 2.4 inches. Uh, that was it was, we also got some gusty winds along with it. And I showed my uh, video that I was able to get uh, from kind of closer to downtown Cumberland earlier this morning. Yeah, and we are going to see that flash flooding potential in central Pennsylvania and eastern Pennsylvania with the potential for uh, those storms producing tornadoes. Now, we just mentioned the rainfall deficit this summer. I have a graphic here that shows the precipitation departures over the last 60 days they have lessened considerably. Cumberland was six inches behind average going into this event, and that has been cut in half. But we still have a sliver through the Shenandoah Valley where the rainfall deficits are uh, about one to three inches for the summer. But most of the Mid-Atlantic, as you can see from the graphic, is near or slightly above average uh, for rainfall. Now, going forward, Eric, we do have a couple of opportunities in the extended forecast for a couple of showers, but there is a trend towards somewhat cooler air heading into the end of August and the beginning of September. But we do have to keep a close eye on Henry, the tropical system out in the Atlantic. I don't think it's going to affect us in the mid-Atlantic, but it could uh, clip New England uh, later next week, or I should say early uh, on the weekend. But we are in the prime season for hurricanes with the Atlantic ripe in the Gulf of Mexico going through uh, September. And of course, Cumberland is notorious for seeing uh, tropical moisture. 
one storm was a uh, tropical storm Gordon. I think that was in 2018. That produced flash flooding in the Cumberland area. And that storm tracked to the west. Usually when they track to the west of Cumberland, um, we get the magnitude of rain that you saw earlier and that your video shows uh, the two clips that you sent us here shows the uh, rainfall and the heavy rain in the uh, area near the Dingle, which is where you are in that low lying spot. Traffic seems behind you seems to be going smoothly now as the uh, flooding has has subsided. Uh, what can you tell us about what's going on at the very moment there? Yeah, right now, see the water is completely went down. Uh, it was it went up very quickly and came down just as quick. And uh, we still have some light drizzle right now, but traffic looks to be moving uh, pretty good across the area. Uh, there was just a quick burst. During that time, there was some uh, kind of congestion around. People were taking it slow, and especially when this underpass was closed, they were having to detour. But uh, we're pretty good right now. We did see some rises in small uh, creeks and streams, but just rises. I don't think we got anything past that as far as, uh, I don't think we got any flooding as far as that. Yeah, that's a good point too. With 2.4 inches of rain, you would think that would cause considerable flooding on the main stem of Potomac, but because the river level was so low going into this event, there hasn't been um, any problems. One thing to note is that uh, with the longer nighttime hours going forward, all that moisture with the clear skies at night could create some uh, fog. So that could be an issue at times over the next couple of mornings, especially in those low lying spots like the Dingle and Cumberland. So that might be something that um, pops up during the, during the overnight hours. But the main action going forward through this event will be along and east of Interstate 81 with some heavy downpours and also the potential for one or two tornadoes. A uh, tornado watch is in effect from the uh, Storm Prediction Center, Eastern Pennsylvania into uh, Maryland. Won't affect the Cumberland area, but will affect the Eastern parts of uh, Maryland all the way up and through the I-95 corridor in uh, New Jersey. So thank you uh, so much, Eric, for joining us and sending us this great footage that you are seeing here. And it's a nice welcome surprise. Most people in Western Maryland were begging for this rain and you got it. So that is good news for the Cumberland area because the rain has missed most of Maryland as it's come off the mountains this past summer, except for the storm. This helped bring things back to average. Definitely, well, thank you for letting me come on. Absolutely. And uh, have a great day and stay, um, dry, I guess.